Hey besties, it is Briar of Briar Glams and welcome back to my channel. If you like trash talking, honest opinions and the occasional dad joke, stick around because I think we will get along. I am very excited for today's video because it is the first of a new series that I am trialing out here on my channel called Boss Babes and Beveraginos. Basically in this series we are going to be reacting to something that a top presenter, a top MLM, -er, a top hun, a top boss babe has uploaded to social media and we're just going to basically react to it. The purpose of this reaction is to just have a chat, a beverage and to talk about maybe some of the misconceptions or the misinformation that they are putting out in their content on social media. This is definitely not about tearing people down individually or saying negative or unnecessary comments or attacking someone for no reason. This is basically using people at the top as an example as to why you shouldn't join an MLM and basically just highlighting some of the big issues that we see come up in these MLMs. I am very excited for this series. I asked you about it on Instagram if you would be interested in the series and everyone said yes. This is my beverage of choice, mysterious drink that rhymes with Schmeinischmann. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, stick around and let's get into the video. <laughs> Welcome to the series Boss Babes and Beverageinos. Yes, I did think of the name myself. Yes, I do love alliteration because I have the sense of humour of a literal dad. I have been enjoying a lot of anti-MLM channels. I'll link them down below. But I have seen a lot of them do reactions to different things that MLMers have posted on different social media platforms. And I think it's just a really good way to kind of discuss the big issues and use these people as an example. I am really only going to be focusing on the top people in these different companies because I think that they are definitely more aware of the situation, they are benefiting the most from the situation, that being the multi-level marketing company, and of course they are publicly associated with the companies. I will not be blurring faces because they are publicly associated with the company but I will not be broadcasting names either because this is not at all something that is intended to bring these people down or say anything negative about them as human beings. More about the side of them that is in the MLM and that is unfortunately a predatory and manipulative business. So when I say things like that, that the MLM structure is predatory and manipulative, I am not calling the individual predatory and manipulative as an example. I just think it's super important to clarify that this is not an attack on any person that I feature in Boss Babes and Beveraginos. I feel like I should address the makeup in the room. This is kind of the top half of a Cruella de Vil inspired look I did. I did redo the lip because the look was a lot and I thought it might be a little bit distracting for the video so I changed the lip. But if you are interested in seeing my spooky looks that I'll be uploading, they are on my Instagram. I think I have disclaimed enough. So let's get into it. The person that I am going to be reacting to today, they are actually part of the family that founded It Works. I'm not going to say their name. I don't want to bring any hate or attacking towards the individual, but you know, I'm obviously going to be showing what they've posted on their social media. So when I was doing research for my previous anti-MLM video, I was looking into It Works and I was just kind of looking at the people that they reposted and the people that were associated with their main Instagram page because I just wanted to kind of get an idea and get a vibe of what they were posting on social media and just kind of making sure that I wasn't speaking out of turn in that video. This video that I found on her Instagram highlights, oh... I was quite shocked and I feel like it really encapsulates the issues that I have with MLMs a lot of the time. I have watched it that once but I haven't watched it since so my reaction will hopefully be somewhat fresh. Basically we are going to be reacting to her highlights on her Instagram and about me. We are going to just be reacting to it, watching it and just kind of talking about the things that she brings up throughout the video. I thought that this would be a really good video to react to and to start off Boss Babes and Beverage Geno's because she is literally at the tippity top 
of at work this was posted to her instagram as an about me it's presented to you as you're going to learn about her about her background kind of just the different aspects of a person that you would tell on your Instagram about yourself is kind of what I expected. I thought this would be a really good one to start with because it really sets the tone as to what the people at the top 1% of an MLM want to portray to you about themselves. Without further ado, we're just going to watch and react. So get your beer for our Gino and let's get into it. So this is public video information. Turn the volume up so we can sync it later in editing. Okay, I am going to take a bit of a trip down memory lane and this will be something that actually probably brings to mind several things I haven't thought about in a long time. Let's see here for a second. If It Works started in 2000, I was in college actually at that time. And I had watched my mom and dad get started in a home-based business. Watched her mom and dad get started in the home-based business. Let's just think back to what I said about who she is before. So it's not just watch her mum and dad starting a home-based business. It's, it's a bit more than that, but we'll continue. While I was in high school, so it was something I believed in. I knew the value of it and the benefits of owning a home-based business. But quite frankly, all I'd ever seen in my, for me for my own life was teaching and co- I feel like I just have to say, when I was in high school, I did not think in detail about my parents jobs and if I believed in them do you know what I mean it's such a weird statement to say like I believed in my parents job yeah I mean sure but we will continue coaching and so that's what I was doing and when it work started as happy as I was for my parents quite frankly it wasn't something I was interested for in my own life and yet this is the thing that I always find interesting being supportive when it comes to MLMs it's not just back you up or I'll buy your product it's literally you are expected to join a lot of the time I don't know we are a super tight family so you know we do everything together we support each other and I did join it works when it first started again unless you're in New Zealand the only thing I could relate this to as a family business is potentially being a farmer you know a lot of families have farms and I can see in that respect you may consider being a farmer but most people don't even do that and even if you're a really tight family my family I would consider like me and my brothers are really close and I'm close with my parents but I would never say oh for us to be close that means that we all have to do the same job like we're all at the end of the day very different people with different interests so why would we have the same career I'll, I'll let her continue and launched I didn't do anything with it, but I did sign because I wanted to so support my family. Even a couple years into college, actually, I was your typical college student and just felt that pressure. My dad constantly said to me, you have everything it takes to be good at something like this. But you know what? I was still really focused on my career path of choice, teaching and coaching basketball. And so I joined again. And I made a little bit of money. I remember my mom traveling up to my college and helping me talk to some of my friends about what I was doing. And yet it just still wasn't in me. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Sorry. I have to pause it right there. Her parents, seeing that she is obviously a social gal in her college days and encouraging her to have the biz on the side because they know that younger people and college people and people trying to earn that extra money are very easily persuaded to join something you know she said she made a bit of money so it's not like she didn't sign anyone and the fact that she even said her mum came up to her college to help her sign up people to me I just I don't think that that was her but I do think that her parents they knew what they were doing in that situation at the very least they knew what made a successful distributor for their company and they wanted their daughter to be successful in their company i'm sure it doesn't sit right with me that that's what they did while she was in college that to me is what really got me and was like this is the birth of boss babes and bear Varginos because that felt different it didn't just feel like you're in college and you're like oh I joined this company and I want to recruit my friends to be a part of the same company as me because how cool would it be if me and my friends all work together that's an external force pushing you to do something because they have seen it be successful yeah right it wasn't until I was expecting my first child my son 
everything changed for me. I had already been teaching for a couple years. I'd been coaching girls varsity basketball, loving every minute of it. And then I found out I was expecting. And I have to say, everything changed for me. Everything changed because I'm looking at my little guy thinking, how am I going to go back to school and raise everybody else's kids while somebody is home raising mine? So while I was living my dream, I have to be honest, I wanted to be a mom more. And as I looked at my son's face and I- I want to make this so super, 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 super clear. I am never going to say anything about that, about someone deciding that being a mom is more important than their job or their career or whatever other things that they would do because that is so understandable. To me it's not, it's nothing to do with the fact that she gave up her job to be a stay at home mom. I thought my mom, and I gotta say she was a stay at home mom and I'm telling you she was amazing. I always wanted to be able to be with my kids but I also wanted to be able to provide. You know, if they needed new shoes for basketball, um, you know, I just wanted to not have to live Paycheck to paycheck. Robbing Peter to pay Paul, I guess, is... Robbing Peter to pay Paul. Let's say you found an at-home admin job that you could do part-time around your kids to be a stay-at-home mom and earn that extra money, like you're saying. I don't see how that would be robbing Peter to pay Paul. What I would see robbing Peter to pay Paul would be... 90% of people joining a company and not even making money and the people who are above them getting that money from them joining and from the distributors being customers. To me that was just wild that, that she made that conclusion I guess <laughs> that a normal job would be robbing Peter to pay Paul but a multi-level marketing scheme where you recruit people and earn money off people being below you and having a giant team and being one of the top earners is not robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm not sure about that one. Let's continue is how I would say that because ultimately if I wasn't bringing in some sort of income there was no way I was going to be able to be home with my kids when they were young. Little did I- And that is totally a valid stress but don't use that stress that a lot of people have as a way to manipulate people into joining something that most likely will make them lose money. Okay? Little did I know then that it works had been in front of me this whole time right and it was something that I had been um, introduced to over and over and over again but it wasn't until that moment that I realized that thing that I've been praying for to allow me to be home with my kids it works was it all along and I just wasn't ready for it then but I'll tell you what after I signed that third and final time everything changed for us and while I only joined to make some extra income uh, to be this is what I talked about in my other video it always being I only joined just to make that extra little bit of ka -ching because that's what most people do they just join and they just want to be casual and they just earn that little extra income but that's not the reality the income disclosure statement says that the research says that it's not like that's the most likely outcome of you joining an MLM unfortunately let's continue uh, to be able to family lifestyle at the end of the day it works became so much more than that you know obviously it was investment of years of my time over time that added up to something extremely more than I could have ever asked or imagined now so we just had an admission that it's not going to be easy or a small amount of time it's over time to get to where she was and she was in a very advantageous position so even when you're at an advantage it's still like a shit ton of work. I'll fast forward my kids are almost 16, 13 and 11 and gosh I still work a lot I love to work. I love what I get to do for a living. I love how um, I get to invest in others and encourage them, coach them, cheer them on, help them believe in themselves, being more. And this is the part that I find difficult because I don't want to say that I 
think that she doesn't think she's doing that but I think it's hard to understand how she could rationalize the amount of people failing I'm so sure that she wants to uplift people and help people succeed but I just don't know how you at the top surely you would see the people failing surely you would see the likelihood of someone making it but maybe that's not true maybe when you're so far at the top all you are surrounded with are the successful people all that you're introduced to is the people that have rose up quick the people that have done well so I don't know doing more than they ever thought possible but you know I'm doing it on my own terms and I get to be a part of the most important parts of my children's life I don't have to be the no mom I get to be the yes mom and you know what I came from a leadership conference just this last weekend and I had some of the footage on demand and I said to the kids last night at dinner I want you to watch this section with me she's a young influence and I want you to learn from some of the things she says and my oldest said gosh mom why would we have to listen and learn from her when we've had you teaching us the whole time so I think mean, that's really nice but I don't really understand the yes mom thing because surely in life you have to tell your children no I guess maybe she means time and money wise I don't know I felt I, I just found that kind of weird you know while I wanted to teach and coach in that traditional setting and then God gave me a greater platform through my own home-based business I'm realizing now it's even making me a better mom. And I'm telling you, the rewards of being my own boss and being working for myself has really been more than I could have ever planned for or dreamed or imagined for. <laughs> First off, the music is a lot. I always find it interesting how the success and the things that you are good at are never because of you, it's because of the MLM. Whether or not she believes it, she basically just said that she gets to be a good mum that gets to be there for her children all of that stuff because of the MLM that she's in not because of the effort and the time that she put in or because of the fact that she is a caring person or the fact that she prioritized her children it's weird to me that the MLM gets all the credit for you being successful whether that comes to the MLM or whether that comes to just your personal life I don't really see that in other fields or and we just keep crossing dreams off our dream board and yet I know we're just getting started so while I would never actually say I've arrived in any way I would say that I've learned a lot in 15 years of being my own boss of you know working a home-based business and my desire is to teach you from my own experience but also to encourage you to help you walk through various seasons of your business and and I love on the spot just to remind ourselves this is her about me on her Instagram page, but now it's about me. Like it's about us. And we're crossing seasons and needing help in our journey. It just seems like this is not really about her at all. It's about the MLM she's in and it's about now recruiting us into the MLM that she's in. The fact that this was titled about me, I really don't know that much about her except for the fact that she was a teacher slash coach and that's what she studied at university. Like, we really haven't learned much about her as a person. Learned a lot about the company and apparently what it affords you and all the great qualities and attributes it'll give you. Anyway. Coaching. You know, I love to be able to hear exactly what you're going through. All the years of personal and professional development coaching that I've received experience like on the spot training which there's nothing better and if you can learn from what I learned and help avoid traps that I fell into whether it was lack of confidence lack of belief lack of vision or clarity or just how to uh, duplicate right not only do things myself but teach my team how to do those things gosh relationships are so yeah this is literally turned into i will help you be successful even though this is about her it's now about us being recruited and everything comes back to you should be in my team everything comes back to join my team join my company buy my products in what other situation does talking about your success and the achievements you had turn into you being recruited to be in their team and that that assumption that you want to be in the team i don't know everything when you're working with others and i'm looking forward to working through whatever season you're in with you i'm excited to just share what i've learned i'm gonna encourage you like nobody's ever encouraged you i'm gonna push you to believe in yourself more than you've ever believed in yourself before but i promise you you're stronger than you think you are and you can do
more and be more than you ever thought possible. Let's do it together. Okay, well that was it. Final thoughts, shall we? To me, one of the biggest takeaways from that is your success is always attributed to the company. You don't really see this in any other situation and I think it's a big telltale sign that when you become a part of an MLM, it really does take over your whole life. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me for the first episode of Boss Babes and Bear Fraginos. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below. Just another reminder that this is in no way to send hate or any negativity towards this person or any person in it works but to just use this to highlight concerns that i have about the mlm industry thank you so much for watching and if you stay to the end you are a real one like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to keep up with me my crazy spooktober looks and just my overall ramblings between my youtube uploads you can follow me on tiktok and instagram on Instagram it's at Briaglams and on TikTok it's at Briaglams with two S's. But don't worry, I'm not funny there either. Bye!